Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Late model stock car series fixed time from Concord Speedway. Starting on the outside of the front row. Car number four, a little bit of a weaker field. Number one, who is the 33 on the car, who is currently warming the tires up, uh, was a tenth of a second faster than me, and I felt like I drove reasonably quick lap for myself. It's about 10th between myself and the 7th quali qualifier, so starting on the outside, not my favorite thing. I'm guessing the 11 and the 10 on the inside will probably have a bit of an advantage. Hopefully, I can either get a really good start or work my way back up. would like to at least finish top 3, if possible. Just uh, hard to master Concord. I'm um, just not real consistent with my corner entries and okay, Jake. carrying speed ready? without killing the right front, so I'm going to do what we can. Wait for when the one's gonna go. Gets a jump. Green, green, green. Eleven's there to the inside, but doesn't quite get to my inside into one, so able to slot in second place. Just sit behind the one. Likely just watch him pull off into the sunset. And try to stay ahead of the rest of the field. The one is Quite a bit better in terms of eye rating than I am, so would expect him to be faster. I can finish within probably four or five seconds of him by the end of the race. I'll be happy with that. As long as I don't have to check him for Rex or anything like that. Looks like there might have been one that kind of thinned out the field a little bit. Too much rotation there out of turn three. Yes, I am calling it turn three, not turn five like iRacing does. I think the biggest thing for me is to remember to back the entries up a little bit to save on the right front and be able to pick up the throttle earlier, but especially out of turn one, don't want to kick it too high. Just cannot get that line through turn three correct. That's that was that where the one's gaining a lot of time two. on me. It's through turn three. Like I'm probably entering a little, a little shallow. I'm still sitting a half second back. That lap time was 15.92. Slidey there out of one. Has been disqualified. Uh, one got DQ'd? I don't even. I'm not even sure how a car got DQ'd already. I don't know if Crew Chief's drunk or what. I had a very bad one and two. Looks like the 11 has gone around behind. Did not see what happened to him. So, no pressure behind from the three now. Your luck time was. <laughs> Overdrove one 05. really bad. Thankfully, the ones. Also not driving great, so still within a half a second of him. Now he opens it up a little bit. Got almost a second and a half back to the three. So I clip the wall going into three, which completely screws that corner up. Let's just add another tenth to the one's lead unnecessarily. That one was at 16.17. Yeah, I guess one car did get DQ'd. Wow, that's crazy. Closing up that time on the one. Three also catching me. That lap time was 16.00. So maybe we'll have a better race. I thought the one was just going to take off, given the qualifying pace. That's not showing itself to be the case so far. It's done by top four, all within about a tenth or so of each other. I Almost might not even be able to hang on to second, honestly. Zero. The three is quick. Way too shallow into turn one. I 
At least I'm keeping pace with the one. May not be a normal series for him, so may not be as quick. Okay, Jake. Captain Too much sliding there out of turn one. that I'm overdriving one compared to the one later on the race the whole way. So I feel like I'm sliding it too much on the entry into three. You've just done it. I think I need to work on two. backing that breaking point up a little bit. Felt a lot better. It's half a tenth better on the stopwatch as well. Your lap time was at 16.08. One away from the two. Three's keeping pace with us. Three's currently still 1.1 back. I've been standing right around this half second time was at mark. 16. The eight coming up. Only 20 in though. Still 30 to go. That lap was at 60. A little bit more than half the race left. So I'm trying to drive it as aggressive as I can. Keep it on the right rear from the center off. Not slide the car too much on the entry. Try to protect that right front. Eight does move high from the from one. 60, one Try to follow him through right here through turn two. Outside, Cup one smoking on the inside. That was the 12, I think. I don't know. Thankfully, he was against the inside retaining wall, so didn't pose an issue that way. That last lap was at 16.26. Three now working by the eight. Cats opened up about a tenth. Really bad entry into turn three there. It is the 12th up ahead who was parked on the inside wall in turn three a couple laps ago. Not quite sure where exactly he's going. I was going to try to jump to the inside of him going into turn one. He's going to stay high, so I'll take advantage of that. All right, Jake. Halfway home. Fuel looks good. Got him on the outside, clear him. I think he lifted going into two. Been very fortunate with where I'm catching the lap traffic. This helped me keep an even pace back from the one. Wasn't it on 20 16, to go? One start to pull away a little bit now. Not a good entry into turn three. Slid it, but the one slid it out of turn three. Kind of a wash there. Just done it. 16. One, two, three. Trying to do what I can to gain from the center off. I said hopefully it'll hold the right front so the last 20 laps or so I can try to close. At least I like to close in and give the one a little bit of a sweat. Three still hanging about a second and a half back, a little under. Two had issues. He has fallen out of the top four. Eleven will be up ahead. Flip the wall there out of the front stretch. Got him starting to pull back away. Three still hanging about the same distance back. One gets the wall going into turn three. One continues to pull away, even though 
just they got the wall. Makes me feel really bad about what I'm doing. One is turning up the pace. I can't I can't even get back into the ones. And now we're gonna finally catch lap traffic at the worst spot. Oh, good race one. On your right. They're outside. Did what I could. That was not a good turn one as I flip the wall, get way wide out of two, almost get tagged by the zero. 11. Two. Also allows the three to close up. Yeah, now it's almost a second and a half. That was not a good lap. See, that was about six tenths that I did not need to give up. Oh, that's what happens when you try too hard. Just overdrove the car really bad that lap. Got the eight again. Oh, right unfortunately, side. we're catching lap traffic a little still bit worse there. than we there were right. earlier. The eight did a great job to still get out of the way, but. Oh, for a second, I thought I could hang with the one. The guy behind is now zero. Point eight eight. Gotta quit overdriving it. Every time I overdrive it, it just costs me on the exit. Got a wreck there, able to avoid that. One avoids that as well. If I was involved in that. Change fifth place allows the nine into fifth place. Do the brake bias back a little bit, see if I can help rotation into the corner at all. Nothing else. I just want to stay ahead of the three, finish second. Yeah, I. I think the one might have been laying back, kind of messed with me. Wow, this car is so tight. So tight. Right front just pushed really bad from the center off in three. I think the more that I'm closing in on five to go, but this is going to be a worse battle with the three than I was hoping for. So the three can smell blood in the water and me being way off the pace. Trying to just back up my entries, wait a little bit longer, and defend the bottom as best as I can. This three is all over the back of me. This is going to be a tough fight to hang on to. Three's just got so much more right front. Can rotate the center of the corner better. Five to go. Oh, that was a 16.44. Don't know how I'm going to hold the three off, but I'm going to try my best. Trying to rotate it in the center of the corner as best as I can. One's loving this because I've got to run a little bit more of a defensive line, so that gap's just opening up. Catch the 12. They go high, the thank you to them. Up, up time with their high. He was able to get a little bit of a better run in the one compared to me. Just gotta defend that bottom as best as I can. Three's being really kind to stay off of me. Two laps to go. Two to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. That was a 16. Six is up ahead, but I doubt I'll we'll catch the six before the end of the race. It's really tight. Clip the wall again. Looked like the three did the same thing out okay, of three. Jake, one more to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the kind of just stood on the throttle and hoped that it stuck and it didn't quite stick. That time it lifted. It wasn't sticking. Second place finish. Glad to uh, finish where I started. 2.3 nice off uh, or 2.2 off of the one. So stayed within that half a tenth range for average lap time, which you can't complain about. Get the overlay off. Not really a ton to look at overall. 
Tires for 56.78. Yeah, that you can see why I leaned on that right front way too bad, which is why I was having problems rotating center of the corners. That's why I was having problems staying ahead of the three, right. and that's why I had no shot at getting to the one because I completely torched the right front. Uh, that's pathetic. Yeah, that is not not good at all. Um, <laughs> man, I got a lot of work to do here. A lot of work to do here. I just struggle so bad. But I mean. Glad to get a uh, second place finish out of it. Only five of us finished on the lead lap. Two ended up having issues falling all the way back to ninth. So it should be good from an eye rating standpoint at least. Um, just, yeah, a lot, a lot to work on. Um, pretty clean. About half the field got incident points. I don't think the 13 was ever in the race at all, so. Uh, looks like, yeah, literally half got incident points, half didn't, but I think. Thankful to the three for giving me a lot of uh, courtesy there on the end. Could have dove it in quite a few times or shoved me out the track easily. And uh, they ran me really clean. So if you're a viewer, thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. Uh, I was really respectful of short track racing. Especially because I'm sure it smelled blood in the water. I was dead. So uh, a lot of fun. Uh, obviously struggled. This has always been a track that I've struggled at. I think. I'm trying to think. I don't know if I've run SKs here or not, but I know I've run uh, the old weight model, the Monte Carlo, as well as Super Lates, and I've always struggled here. It's just, it's a tricky triangle. It's a very oddly shaped track. It's not one that I'm great at, so um, definitely big work in progress. Uh, I could list off quite a few short tracks that feel like this, so just to come away with the second place and... For half the race, it was nice to hang with the one. Uh, made me feel like I had a little more pace than what I actually did, but... Hey, progress, I guess. Sort of. In a way. <laughs> At least they're not sailing off into the sunset, so... Hopefully, uh, try to get some better runs for you going forward. Um, next week's going to be a late start. I've got a work trip that I have to do. It takes away from the beginning of my week, so... I'll try to get into it as quickly as I can as soon as I get back home, but... Uh, try to do what I can. And uh, just keep improving. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Let me know if you've run this. Any driving tips or feedback or anything. If not, uh, it, it's definitely fun. Uh, if you can tire a save, you can you can see how you can have an advantage from the center off. It's just a matter of putting your car in the right position to take advantage of that. But it's definitely possible to pass. And tire saving is, is a thing for sure. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. And until the next one, I hope all your laps are fast. Your races are clean. And your finishes are good. Thanks for watching.